Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please can someone tell me why it looks like I've been crying? I have not been crying. Anyway, we're gonna get ready together and we're gonna do everything. I'm gonna do some skincare, some makeup, and then we're gonna do our hair as well. So this video is gonna be a long one. I feel like it's been ages since I've done a proper long makeup tutorial. I'm gonna go quite glam. I've decided that I'm sick of not getting ready for things. I'm sick of being in my house. So I thought that what I can do is just get ready and pretend like, like, I'm, like I'm about to go and do something. Go and get yourself a drink or a snack or a a full three course meal, a glass of wine, a bottle of wine, anything you want and we're just gonna hang out today. We're gonna get all this done and I hope that I'm gonna be pretty transformed by the end of it. Okay, let's start with skin. I'm gonna use the Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum by Fresh. I've not done any skincare yet, so I'm just applying this all over. This is a really lovely hydrator. It's just a lovely thing to put on your skin, especially with the weather changing. I don't know who you guys all live. I would love to know. The weather's changing here in Scotland, so it's cold, the heating's on inside, so my skin's dry, you know what I'm talking about. So I just think super hydrating skincare products at the moment are the best. Uh, this is the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum from Glow Recipe. Very cute little component. I'm gonna take two pumps of that and I'm gonna apply that all over as well. Because we're doing quite a full face of makeup today, like I'm going quite full coverage with the foundation. It's actually not a foundation I've used before, so I'm quite excited. But it's a, it's a full coverage matte foundation, so I definitely want my skin to be treated properly underneath. Nine times out of 10 when I get messages from people saying that their foundation is not really working for them, it's down to skin, it's down to their skincare and maybe their lack of skincare or if you treat your skin for what it needs your foundation will look gorgeous on top. We have a new moisturiser here this is the Declior Sun Kissed Cream. Now this is sent to me this is PR but it was highly recommended uh, by my friend and I'm really excited to try it. It's a very peculiar colour but apparently it's just the best. It doesn't really smell like anything but if you're looking for something that's gonna give your skin a little bit more kind of color, you know, a little bit of a glow, then I think this might be what you're looking for. Let's rub it in. Oh, feels nice. It doesn't feel too thick. Wow. I can imagine using this in conjunction with my tanning water would be a really gorgeous way to, for maybe for no makeup days. Nice, it's very light. I think it looks really nice. Feels nice, sinking into my skin nicely as well. Nothing's pilling. I have cleaned my brushes for today because I'm a professional woman. I used the ISO Clean. let me show you. I bought this, I can't remember where I got it from, I'll link somewhere below where you can get it. This is ISO Clean. What a quick way to spot clean brushes. I've got my little technique that I love that went a bit viral on TikTok and then Instagram and then it was, I think it was in the newspapers, but I've got a really great way of deep cleaning brushes that I love, but for spot cleaning I didn't have anything and I bought that and I think it's really good. I just want someone to say well done for cleaning my brushes, please. Okay, so for foundation, we're gonna go in with the brush brand new Too Faced Born This Way Matte. This is a 24 hour, undetectable, super long wear foundation. Okay, they sent me one color, natural beige, which is great actually, because I'm pretty sure that's the color that I use in the Born This Way foundation. Okay, I've got two pumps. I'm not gonna use a primer just because I've got all my skincare on. Oh, wow. Definitely don't think I'll need two pumps. Color is good. Yeah, a little bit goes a long way. I just remembered it said it was matte. I wonder if I have to work quickly. I know I say this all the time, but it's a tiny wee bit fairer than what I would maybe usually use. That looks nice. I've got my mirror really close because I want to see exactly what this is looking like. I'm gonna go in with another layer and work quite quick. It's nice, it's not my favourite. I think I'll be able to tell at the end or when I start putting on my powders and stuff. It's not really covering. Look, I can still see that. I have a feeling that this is the kind of foundation that will work best. Quite like a thick layer with a beauty blender all over, you know, that kind of makeup. I'm going to leave it there and we'll come back, right? We'll see what it looks like when I'm finished doing the rest of my makeup. But at the moment, I'm not sold. Concealer, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier concealer. I knew this was a matte foundation, so I knew I didn't want like a matte concealer. So let's go under that. Yeah, that, I'm just looking at the timestamp as well, that took me quite a long time to blend out and get looking all right. And I know that this concealer works really well for me. We'll see what happens. Have any of you guys tried that foundation? And if so, what do you think about it? Patting that concealer out under my eyes. 
Okay, the foundation's starting to look nice. Now that it's sat on my skin for a little bit and I've done my concealer, I like the way it's looking. It's just a wee bit pale, but I can bring that back with uh, my bronzer. Right, let's do some bronzer next. I'm gonna go in with the NARS Laguna bronzing powder. This is just the original in the new packaging. It's not the matte. I find that I always do my base first these days. I don't know why. I think at one point I did my eyebrows first and then I changed and did my eyes first. And now I pretty much always do my base first. And I'm just bronzing the usual areas under my chin, my wee nose. I always just do the same thing, I just go down the sides. Right, I'm going to use Hula Caramel. I need something with a wee bit more warmth to it and a bit more depth. I actually really like lately using two bronzers, using a kind of lighter one like the NARS, which has maybe even almost like a little bit of shimmer in it. Like using that first and then going in with a deeper matte bronzer just to intensify where I want to kind of shape my face and add a lot that little bit more depth with the matte shade. I just think everything looks quite blended and seamless that way. I know it's just another product to lug about, but I really think it works. I think it gives my face more shape. Oh, it's Okay, for my blush, I've got one of the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte in the shade Beach Babe. It's like a really nice kind of like pinky colour. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that on the back of my hands, like quite a lot of it, like so. Get a brush, pick up the colour, and then I'm going to pat it on my cheeks. That was actually a very risky game that I just played because I'm patting on a cream blush on top of a matte foundation that's set. I know that I'm very blushy, but you know what happens. I'll do the rest of my makeup and then the blush will just kind of like tie everything in. That foundation has set. I have not, that reminds me of double wear. I'm going to use the Laura Mercy Translucent Honey Loose Powder. And I'm just going to sweep this. I was going to do something a little bit more drastic, but I'm just going to sweep it under my eyes. Around the sides of my mouth. I actually don't feel like we need much powder. I look dry. I'm going to set it using Urban Decay All Nighter Scent Spray. Maybe this will fix everything. Right, I'm going to let this dry while I drink my coffee and just think about life. While my skin's still a little bit dewy, I'm going to go in with my highlight. This is the MAC Whisper of Guilt. This is one of my old faves and I just found it in my drawer and I thought we'd bring it back out. Uh, I'm going to go in with a little eyeshadow brush. This is actually a Colourpop E15 brush and I just like the size of it for highlighting. I don't know if you'll remember, but years ago when MAC brought out Whisper of Guilt, it sold out so quickly, you couldn't get it anywhere. All you could get soft and gentle. Soft and gentle was great. What a throwback. But Whisper of Guilt was, it was just the most exciting highlighter of its time. That's nice. Right, let's zoom you in and do our eyes. So there's a close look of the skin. It looks, it actually does look nice. It looks nice. Let's do our eyebrows. I've got an idea for my eyebrows. I've not done this before. I'm going to use the Benefit Full Proof Brow Powder and I'm going to use the lighter shade to fill in my brows and then use a dark brow powder to bring some depth back. But I just thought, I was like, I wonder if I filled my eyebrows in with the light colour all over, you know, create my shape. It might be a nice way to get more of a kind of natural looking brow, but it's still full. Plus, I actually really like using a powder for my brows. I've just not done it in a long time. Nice, and then you can go in, so the way that this is, it's got the light part of the brow at the front and then the darker part of the tail. So I'm going to go in with the darker part as well, just to get the definition where I need it. Because I get a bit jealous, I do, I get a bit jealous of my peers that actually have lighter brows than me because there's only so much that I can do, like I can't really do the hair like stroke thing. I've tried a million times but my brows are too thick and too dark to get away with it. I can do it at the very, very front, just. So I'm going in with the brow 3.5, it's a bit darker than I used to use. I just need it to lower this front part. Yeah, it just sticks to the skin differently. I'm going to try and get more of a defined tail and then just brush through my brows and then I just need to fill in this wee sparse bit. I think I might grow my eyebrows back out, you know, see exactly how full I can get them. Oh look, I've got a tiny little mini 24 hour brow setter, so I'm going to use this just to get my eyebrows looking nice and full. And then I'm going to go in with Gimme Brow in the shade 4.5 just to add some thickness. I'm enjoying a thicker, fuller brow. Yeah, I think I'm going to carve out underneath to try and tidy them up a bit. 
I'm just going to take a little brush and some concealer and we're going to tidy up these brows. I just think they're looking a wee bit too crazy underneath. Oh, that's better. I used to carve my eyebrows out every single day and I actually don't know why I stopped. Even just like a natural finish. Look how much crisper that looks. Because of the concealer is slightly lighter, it gives a little bit of a brow lift, which is always nice. Much better. So we've got a little bit more definition, but it's still nice and fluffy on top. Right, okay. So for the eyes, I'm going to use the same concealer to blank out my lid. And I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. Oh, look, my reflection. I think this palette is so interesting. It is pretty much full of the cool tones. And I thought we could do something pretty like dramatic, quite fun, very glam. So I'm going to pop some of this concealer on as my base. This Hourglass Concealer Brush is so great for concealer, obviously, but it's really nice for your eye base. A nice blank canvas. I'm just going to tap over my base just so there's nothing too sticky. And I want to do something quite dramatic and blown out with this palette. So I'm going to start with this colour here. It's interesting how they've named the shades. So you've got Centre Eyelid. Outer eyelid, inner corner, crease, transition. Smoke, blend, lash line, inner corner, centre eyelid. Like it's, it's kind of like that the whole way through, which I think is interesting. I'm going to go in with the lash line. So this is the darkest matte colour in the palette. And I'm going to start stamping that on almost like a liner. So I am actually going to use it along the lash line first. Look straight ahead and I'm going to sketch out the shape that I want. So I'm wanting quite a quite a winged look. So I'm just using a little brush. This is a Laura Mercier brush actually, the smudge brush. Keep my eye open again. This is such a good technique for creating big smoky looks. Now I'm going to just really start sketching out the shape. There's something quite nice about working with an eyeshadow to do this. It's I suppose less scary than like going straight in with like a gel liner or something. And because it's eyeshadow, you can always blend it away. Cool. Big, big glam wings. So you can see that I've gone right past the tail of the brow. I'm just doing what I want. <laughs> just to get them nice and even. I just think there's something so kind of soft and glamorous about a smoky wing using a dark eyeshadow rather than a liner. Definitely one of my favourite looks to do. Okay, and you'll see what I've done is I've gone halfway along the lid, uh, not right over because then that would kind of start to sh close my eye off a little bit. I think I'm going to go under the eye with the same colour, you know. And I'm just going... Kind of the same thing, I'm going halfway along the lower lash line. And do you know what I'm going to do at this point? I'm going to go in with the Victoria Beckham Kajal in the shade Coco. And I'm going to do that in the outer corner of my eye. So you can see the inner corner is still left free of product. So this is just going to keep all the drama to the very outside. There are so many lovely shimmers in this palette but I think I want to go for something maybe this gunmetal and then I can do that inner corner yeah let's do these two. Oh god you're so bloody so I'm going to go for this gunmetal and then I'm going to use this colour in the inner corner I'm going to use a flat brush to pick up the shadow and I'm going to use all nighter to, to just dampen it down a little bit I just think this helps with any fallout as well I'm just going to put that on all over I'm not sure about that I'm going to go in with this crease colour here and I'm just going to try and blend that out a little bit. I guess I kind of thought that would be lighter because I wanted there to be like a stronger point of difference between the black. Okay, okay. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go in with that crease colour first on this side. Yeah, that is better, you know. I'm going to go in with a bigger brush and do the same thing on both sides. Okay, let's add this shimmer. Yeah, I would have really loved it if there was a black in there, I think. I have a heavy metal glitter here in the shade Disco Daydream from Urban Decay. I'm going to just try and add a little bit more. Ah, there we go. A little bit more sparkle to the lid. Oh, that's good. Guys, there you go. If anything comes at you in life and you don't know how to fix it, just put a Urban Decay heavy metal glitter liner on it. I'm going to let that kind of dry a little bit. For mascara, I'm going to... I don't know why I keep on using all these new products because they're kind of starting to play me a little bit. Hopefully this is not the same. This is the new L'Oreal Paris Air Volume Mega Mascara. Cool little component. I've not tried this yet. And I'm just going to add some mascara. 
No, I think this is going to be absolutely fine, guys. Yeah, that's a nice mascara. I'm going to do my bottom lashes. We're going to do big, 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 big bottom lashes. Well, that's the plan, anyway. Lashes, we're going to do the Tatty Lashes Pretty Little Thing collaboration in Feeling Flirty. I think I'm going to chop quite a lot off these. I'm going to go in with the inner corner colour now. A little brush. I'm like nervous to do anything to my face now. Okay, let's stick these lashes on. I pretty much cut the lashes in half, just so they're not overwhelming the look. And I'm going to place them on kind of higher up the wing. Yeah, they work really well as a half lash. I just need to tidy up my, under my eyes a little bit. I'm going on top of powder and concealer and I'm just hoping it's going to be okay. Oh yeah, that's better, that's better, that's better. Yeah, I actually think that that suits it better. A little bit of a brighter, cleaner under eye. Oh my god, maybe today's the day that I should have done my eyes first and then this wouldn't have happened. Maybe I just need you guys close further away from my face. No, I like the eyes. I think it's the foundation that's throwing me off a little bit, to be honest. I think it's made my skin look like quite flat. I'm gonna try and add a little bit of colour into my skin, I think. I'll add my freckles in, because that always distracts, doesn't it? So I'll do my little one here. Nice, and I'm gonna do one here as well. I've got a little breakout just by my mouth and I think that having a little freckle there distracts a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think that's what's annoying me, it's the foundation. The foundation colour doesn't actually feel 100% right and I think the fact that the foundation's a little bit paler and I've gone for cool tones in the eyes, I just think I look a bit deed. <laughs> so I'm going to try and bronze up a little bit more. Yeah, what do you guys think? Sometimes it's nice to hear, you know, someone else's opinion. I'm so used to doing my own makeup and for it looking the way that I'm used to. I just think that there's something not quite right, if that makes sense. It's a shame because I actually do think I love the eyes. I think the eyes are really nice. They're a bit kind of that grungy, smoky way. They're kind of giving me throwback vibes. Or maybe I'm just being crazy and it actually looks fine and normal. What do you think? I'm going to leave that there. Let's do lips. I have the new Victoria Beckham lipsticks. I'm very excited. So I've got the lip definer in shade number four and I'm going to use the lipstick in the shade Pout. So these lipsticks are really creamy and actually on the verge of being quite sheer. Like you can see the colour. It's really interesting. I do like it. I'm not sure about the silver eyes and pink lips. I think that's just a little bit too far. Let's get another one. I've totally changed my mind. I feel like with this eye makeup and the hair that I want to do, I just need a really nude lip. Everyone fine with that? These lipsticks, I'll show you guys another day because I just don't think that this is the makeup look for the lipsticks, if you know what I mean. I'm going to use the same lip definer I was going to use, the Victoria Beckham shade number four, and I'm going to overdraw my lips. Okay, in a lip stick I'm going to use is the Dose of Colours Liquid Lipstick in Let's Cuddle. I've used this recently in a video and I so loved it. Look at the colour. <laughs> I so loved it. And I know it's really light compared to the lip liner, but you just need to have a little patience and just really play with blending them in together. I don't think I've ever used a lip liner that actually matches the shade of lipstick, unless it's like a red maybe, or a dark colour. With nudes, I almost always use a slightly deeper lip liner. I just think it works so well. And it's such a fun way to make every single nude lipstick work for you. Nice! I like it! I just love a pale lip. I love a pale lip. Right, okay, I think I'm done with the makeup. That was hard work. I really do like it though. I like the way it turned out. If this is a lesson to you at all, persevere and don't try a new full coverage matte foundation. When you're not, you don't really want a full coverage matte foundation. Time for hair. Okay, so for hair, I think I'm wanting something quite glam. I feel like this is quite a 90s makeup, actually. Yeah, I want something quite glam and I want a bit more curl in it. So if I show you, if I go back, you can see I've got a slight curl in my hair already, but we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna turn on my soft curl tool by GHD. I'm gonna section my hair. I like this makeup now, I really like it. I've got my little crocodile clip, pop that on top of my head. And I'm gonna take my time when I do this, sometimes I rush it. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Living Proof dry shampoo and just do my roots. I washed my hair two days ago. It's definitely not even washed, but it's like, two day old hair, which is actually great for styling. It's not hard at all what I'm going to show you. I've already got heat protection in my hair. I'm going to get my section. I'm going to brush my section. 
and we're going to do quite a curl if you know what I mean. So I'm going to take my curl tong, I always clamp it and then roll it back, give it a second, roll it back and it's really uh, satisfying. So I would say that's it and I'm going to let my curl go, boom, you see how curly that is, so curly so I'm going to take some hairspray. This is the IGK 1800 Hold Me, it's so good. It's actually a heat protector as well. It smells like coconuts, it's really nice. And I'm gonna just give it a little spray. You can always let it kind of cool a little bit on your hand. So I always see people doing this on Instagram. It works really well, it's nice flexible hold as well so you can brush it out. Section, brush, same thing. Okay, and we just hold it for a little sec and then we open the tong, there we go. Boom, curly so. So every single curl I'm doing is away from my face. You can alternate, but for the kind of curls I want, I just want them all to be quite uniform. It's really easy. Once you get the hang of it, you're so quick. And I know some of you guys will be even better at here than I am. And again, release the little holder. Boom, curly. And then on this side, we're doing the exact same thing. And I'm taking like small enough sections so it's not too much hair. In, clamp, away from the face, hold it back. There's something really therapeutic about doing this. Also, you feel sneaky as anything. See if you like wash and dry your hair and then do this, it will last so long. And I just feel like it's such like a sneaky thing because it's like, I've done my hair. It's gonna last me like four days. Curly. So we're not straightening the end is the most important thing. We're curly from the top to the bottom. Uh, and I'm just gonna work my way right round all my hair. I'm gonna leave the curls like this and we can brush them out at the end. Time for a little hair montage. Okay, we're looking very curly. I'm just doing my fringe. And the last time I did this, I think I did it the wrong way round. So I'm kind of going to flick my hair back into the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Am I going to do an ABBA fringe? Is this going to be an ABBA fringe? Kind of, but I like it. Right, okay, let's just dress this out, right, and see where we get. So I'm going to go back a little bit. And to take out these curls, you really don't want anything too much like a brush. So I've got a wide tooth comb. This is one of my faves for getting these curls. Start brushing through them. They're quite ringlet-y almost. Right, okay, that's worked, which is great. <laughs> so because they're all in the kind of same direction, all the hairs kind of going together. And this is just like big glam curls. Wow. So good for volume. Really nice. And I kind of want my fringe to be a bit more separated. Oh, well maybe I'll just keep my hair back. Yeah, I'm happy with those curls. Woohoo! I'm going to use a wee bit of oil just for my own hair. So I've got extensions in. These are Beauty Works tape-ins. And my own hair is obviously a wee bit drier than the, than the tape-ins. So I just like using it and also around my front pieces. This is how you get a nice kind of PC fringe. Another thing that I love about this is it makes your hair look a bit shorter because of the curls are so voluminous. And when I'm curling my fringe, I'm just so careful. I really don't put too much heat on it. Like that, that's enough for me. And then another thing that you can do that really helps the kind of separation of your hair is a little bit of texture spray. So this is the Redken Wind Blown. I actually used it at the end of last week's vlog. Definitely no flat hair here. And then something that you can do with this kind of hairstyle, oh my god, it's quite 80s, isn't it? Is you can actually turn your head upside down, right? Let me stand up and do it. Turn your head upside down. <laughs> so there we go. Do we like it? So see if you were to do this on like the same day that you washed and dried your hair, this would last, like it would wear so nicely as well. So you could wear it maybe curly two days and then you could put it up in a big curly ponytail. Like it's just so fun. I think one of my favourite things just now is just dressing up. 
like having fun with what I look like and you know changing my makeup style every day, changing my hairstyle every day. Honestly it's like dressing up for adults. It's the most fun thing. So yeah guys I hope you really liked today's video. Let me know if you try the makeup look or the hair out. As always I'm going to link everything that I used down below and other than that I will see you in the next video. Bye! Ew, I hate that eyebrow. I would love to know where y'all live. That sounds really creepy. Why do I have dry skin? <gasps> what the fuck? Oh my freaking eyeball. My arm get, is getting tired. Maybe for someone that's got oily skin. I don't have oily skin. I said definition weird there. Definition. Definition. There you go, so you can see the difference. It's all, obviously there's a big difference. <laughs> it's dripping wing on. Why, why have I got lipstick all over my hand? Eh? Oh my god, I'm gonna be so glam and I wanted to do something. <laughs> Ready?